A city council meeting unlike any other. In Arden Hills, three of the four council members are newly elected and at their first meeting by majority stripped the mayor of some of his power. The three campaigned together on a ticket along with a mayoral candidate who did not win against the incumbent. As Fox 9's Karen Scullin tells us, some residents say city council is orchestrating a coup and they're upset about it. A city of about 10,000 people, Arden Hills is home to a prime piece of property, the Twin Cities Army Ammunition Plant, or TCAP. Moving development forward is one of the primary issues new council members Tom Fable, Emily Russo, and Tina Monson campaigned on. Four months, they said the county's bad, the city's good. The county's problem, they're not. What a filthy lie. The three saying the mayor and former council didn't get anything done. Council member Barbara Holden disagrees. BS, Tom. You don't know. Tell me, Tom, when have you talked to any one of the city council people to ask what was going on or what was happening with TCAP? In a letter sent to the mayor, council member Fable revealed his intent to temporarily strip the mayor of his ability to make any appointments and take him out and the current chair out of the JDA, the group that oversees the TCAP development. Residents spoke up for and against the changes. Where in the post-election literature do you say that you will start a coup, which is exactly what you are doing with your motions? Do we owe you something else other than council seats? If they do this kind of thing, I'd like to know a report, maybe from the city attorney, about what the qualifications are for a recall. If the new council has a majority of people that are voting one way, that's following due process because you were duly elected. The three council members had also planned to put the mayoral candidate who lost to incumbent Mayor David Grant in charge of JDA, but decided not to at this time. Three of them won election. Their mayoral candidate did not win. I won re-election, and it, it just seems that it's a little bit of uh, retribution. Make you mad? Um, my interests are, are leading the city. It's not a personal thing. But some residents do seem to be taking it personally. And I don't know which one of you is going to grow the little mustache and change your name to Adolf. Right. But that's how it started back then. I'm not saying this is going to end up in a war. But this is the same kind of thing that they pulled back then. And then this. And if you're going to be this way now, if you're this bad now, what were you like when that house fell on your sister? Remember to uh, the mayor did call for the meeting to remain respectful after those comments. And there were also several residents asking council and mayor to work together to find solutions that are best for the community.